Hello, Steve Fletcher here and welcome. Um, normally at that point I say welcome to another guitar tuition video or whatever, but I'm not going to today. Uh, we're doing an unbox, no, not an unboxing. We're doing an unzipping, an unbagging because it's, it's not in a box. But I bought myself some new gear and I'm quite excited about it. So I just thought I'd share it with you in this very brief little video. Um, now, as well as guitar, alongside my guitar, I do guitar tuition and stuff like 99% of the time. But as long as, as well alongside that, I also teach ukulele. I've been teaching ukulele via the local county council um, in large school classrooms for about 12, 15 years, something like that. So not as long as I've been teaching guitar, um, but a decent chunk of time. And um, for all of that time, I've been using this. <laughs> now this is my regular ukulele that I use. Now it's a soprano ukulele, which is the smallest one that you can get. And as you can see, I look pretty ridiculous. It's a lovely uke, it's Tanglewood Union series. It's a lovely uke. But it's pretty ridiculous that a grown man would use this. Um, the main reason why I use this is um, that when I'm dealing with a large classroom of you know year three, year four students, I try and uh, you know do as much as I can to bring them in to the to, to, to what we're doing. So just me having this, and they all have one that's you know a concert series size. So it just kind of um, a it relates to the fact that what they've got is the same as what I've got and all that kind of stuff. The other thing is it just looks so silly that it kind of just focuses their attention a little bit. You know, look at that idiot with that small ukulele. So, you know, I've kept hold of this um, for ages, for a really long time. It's been a lovely ukulele, uh, but I think it is time to move on to something a little bit more appropriately me. And the thing that's sort of given me a nudge out of the window with this, or out of the door, is that in all that time I've been teaching big classrooms, I've never really had a regular um, ukulele, a regular one-to-one -one ukulele student. But like waiting for a bus, I ain't now got just one, I have now got three, um, which is obviously gonna, is only gonna grow. So I thought, do you know what? I'm gonna take the plunge and I'm gonna get a ukulele that's a little bit more me. Now, in case you were wondering about the sizes of ukulele you can get, Soprano is the smallest one. The next one up, the Concert, which is, you know, a little bit bigger, uh, probably year five, six, seven sort of age group. And then there is the Tenor, and the Tenor is what I have bought. The next one up from the Tenor is the Baritone, which is the, the, the largest size, and it kind of, Sort of the size of a three-quarter guitar, guitar. It's quite big. The reason I haven't bought a baritone is quite simply because a baritone isn't actually tuned the same as a ukulele, as a, as a regular ukulele. A regular ukuleles are tuned to uh, G, C, E, A. And we use the little rhyme of goats can eat anything to remember that. Whereas a baritone ukulele is tuned exactly the same as the open, four, as the open top four strings of a guitar. So it's tuned D, G, B, E. So there's a bit of a, you know, argument to be made amongst purists about whether or not you can count a baritone as a uke or not. I ain't going to get into that argument, but I teach ukulele, proper ukulele. So I'm, I've gone for the concert. So here it is. Um, it's a on the bag. So this has not been opened before. I, I didn't ask for the box. They said, do you want the box? I said, no. Um, it's a... a, a uh, Lacar ukulele cost me the grand total of fifty nine pounds and ninety nine pence. So you know, I mean, it's lovely to be able to buy you know Gibson Custom Shop Les Pauls and Signature Series David Gilmore Strats and all that kind of stuff. But the simple fact is, is if you don't need that kind of stuff, um, then then just get something that's appropriate. And this is what was appropriate for me, just teaching the small amount of ukulele students that I do. So. Um, so here we go, we're going to unbox it, we're going to open it up, it's the first time it's been unboxed, and see what's happened, see what it's all about. 
So yes, as to be expected, it's in a bag, within a bag. It's probably about that big. It's probably a bag within a bag within a bag within a bag. Let's put that on my knee. Lovely little case. Not massively padded, but what do you want for fifty nine ninety nine? It's just going to keep the uh, keep the rain off. Nothing in there. Sometimes you get those little packets, but that's a lovely little case. Shoulder strap, very handy. Lovely. Okay. Ta da! Yeah, so Lacar, Lacar. Just to sort of show you the size difference. There you go. Yeah, there's a big difference in size there um, with the ukuleles. So this is uh, not going to be tuned. Oh, it's not bad. I was fully expecting that to be completely untuned. But there we go. Um, so I'm going to grab my tuner and we're going to give it a tune in. And we're going to sort of fast forward this bit. Lovely! So I'm quite pleased with that. Who's getting married? Lovely, there we go. So I hope to make some more. I'm looking forward to using this in class. It's a lovely looking you. It's got some, say it's any cost. $59.99. It's lovely looking. I mean, they're, you know, what what do you want? It's It's got a, it's really nice. Some lovely little sort of faux, faux grain going on there. Some lovely binding around the edges. So, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm quite pleased with that. I can't get that in focus for you, but there you go. You can see. Rough idea with that. So that's a really, I'm quite pleased with that as a purchase. So there we go. Now, the final little bit of waffle. Now, as anyone who knows me knows, uh, I, I name all my instruments. All my instruments have got names. Some are particularly boring. Some are a little bit more out there. Um, they've all got reasons for their names. You know, I've got Rudiger the Les Paul, David the Strat, um, you know, we've got the Spaniard is my uh, um, lap steel resonator, London is my Dobro and all that kind of stuff. So this has got a name and there is a reason for this name. And there's a bit of an anecdote behind it, if you'll indulge me. Um, when I was in the shop, um, you know, I said to the, to the you know, guy who was filling in the receipt and what have you, and he, you know, just said, oh, what name shall I put on the receipt? So I said, oh, I'm Steve Fletcher. And he went, oh, you're Steve Fletcher. Which kind of took me aback a little bit. He said, you're Steve Fletcher. Said, yes, I've been hearing your name for years, but I've never actually met you. Now, fair enough, it was around my regular stop. I know, I'm not going to get too carried away with that. My regular, it was, a, you know, the, the, the guitar shop right in the middle of my regular you know, uh, teaching stomping ground. So I'm sure there's been a lot of kids gone in there and said, oh, can I have a, you know, Steve Fletcher, my guitarist, teach my guitar teacher says I need a capo and he says I need a pick and all that kind of stuff. So I'm sure there's been a lot of that going on. But I just felt, you know, me being a bit of an idiot, I, I just sort of felt, felt like my notoriety had preceded me uh, a little bit, which then fed into the best name and the most ironic name for this. This ukulele has now been christened Notorious B.I.G. So that's his name. So all hail Notorious B.I.G. Um, my brand new ukulele. And there we go. So we'll see you next time, boys and girls. Thanks very much. Bye.